Hello everyone, Tommy Station here. Um, following on from my last job lot um, video, where the locos were bought as spares or repair, and my task was to um, get them working by today. And also, um, I had a number of wagons, five wagons, which also needed repair. So uh, before I show you those, I'd just like to show you some things which may help with Mahano. This is, I'll use this one, this is a bogey from the later type SD40. And there's a number of differences which I'll try and, uh, I might have to use my fingers, uh -huh, there. If you can see this. This is where the bogey locates into the chassis. Now on the on the um where are we? On the six to eight that I bought that needed repair, um I thought I could just take the bogey from my scrapped SD forty and put it into the six to eight. However, this is in a completely different position. The clip sits lower. On, on the on the other bogey so the problem I had because the base was missing I thought okay then the base will be the same but it's not this is also different so what I've had to do is uh, grind away these portions of plastic here and also um, make some spaces because this is actually longer than the 6 to 8 bogey. Although they're both uh, Coco three axle bogies, this bottom uh, cover is longer. So that presented a problem. Then the other issue I had was with the wheel, with the axles. Um, as you can see from this one, I hope you can see, the actual gears are offset. Whereas on this particular type of bogey, I'll show you this one dead in the center like this one here so obviously this axle is no good for um, this bogey so I had to hunt deep through my box of bits and pieces to find the axles and then what I ended up doing was using a couple from the SD40 which luckily matched um, I was dreading that they might be a different size, but luckily they're actually the same ratio, so I was I got away with that. Here's a box full of Mahano bogies there. <laughs> oh dear, I tried, went through everything to try and sort it out. Anyway, what I'd like to sh show you now is another problem with Mahano, is that I'm dropping everything today. The wheel spacings can be a problem. Or the back to back like this one here I'll just use my uh, primitive wheel gauge they can be over a millimeter wider than they should be so I don't know now this one is in gauge now that's that's just um, like a, um, a passenger wagon uh, uh, axle or a cargo wagon this is um, a non non driven or a, yeah there's no gear on this one now this one is in gauge because I filed it um, I'll have to use a, a pointer of some description I don't know how well this camera will pick it up but if you look on the axle there's a step and what happens is when the wheel flange is pushed up against that step it's still out of gauge it's still wider than it should be by about a millimeter in some cases so what I've been doing is gently filing down that step and then pushing the wheels on uh, the wheel flanges on the axle a bit further to get them in gauge if you don't do that they'll derail now then some other little issues uh, the the 430, the C430 Virginian, the motor didn't run at all. And I discovered why. The inside of the motor was badly corroded. So this is one of the 
plates that holds the spring and the brush in against the armature. I also noticed that the spring was black so it, it wasn't it obviously had corrosion it wasn't transmitting any power through to the brush then what I've discovered is if you've uh, the the Mahano brush is approximately two millimeter square and what I've been doing lately is opening up the holes on the uh, casing there for the brushes and drilling them to three millimeters so I can put a Pico brush and spring in and it works very very well it's a slightly softer brush and you get um, smoother starting and a quieter motor so this one has been converted um, it's a it's a spare now because I've obviously repaired my two locomotives that are running today so without further ado I'll put this down Okay. The first loco is my. I just want to give you a comparison about the noise. The f this is um, my British Rail version. I repainted into British Rail colours a C430. So this is identical to the Virginian, only I've changed the colour scheme. So the idea is. Um, you don't think I've been putting Pico motors in them. This has its original Mahalo motor. Like I say, I leave them well alone if they're running well. And now I've discovered a trick with the um, the Lima, the Lima uh, brushes and springs. It does improve them. This one I haven't done yet because they, because they run okay. I leave them. But if they get a bit bad starting or noisy, then I'll modify them. So like I say, this is just to give you a comparison of the noise. And as I've said, the Mahanos with the can type motors are respectable runners. They can be made to run uh, smoothly and quietly with uh, some careful lubrication and uh, just making sure that all the contacts are, are good. So as it comes in, we shall stop it. Okay, now if you can hear the buzz. That's what I call the Mahano buzz. So that tells you that this has its original motor. Now we'll start the Virginian off. There's the Mahano buzz. And off it goes. I've been fighting with these motors for the last couple of days. I thought, okay, um, uh, when I got them I knew that it wouldn't be such a, dr a drastic uh, project but again these motors can be quite temperamental if they've got any corrosion in them so there we go this is its good side there's a step missing off the uh, off the other side So there we go, so this is, has Lima brushes and springs. I don't know whether the microphone on the camera will pick up the difference in the noises but um, there we go, that's, that's the best I can do to give you a comparison of the Mahano old hard brushes and the Lima softer brush. so we'll stop this one off, slow it down and even run slower a lot better with those brushes there we go 
Now what I'd like to do is show you on the, the far track. This is an Alco Sentry 628. Again, this is for comparison. This has its original Mahano motor. This one has always puzzled me. It has a black swan um, on the side and on the front. I've no idea which railway line would run those. Start down. So if any of you gentlemen from across the pond or anyone knows what railway line or rail firm would use a black swan on their locals. So that's my, uh, I bought it a long time ago. It has this original Mahano motor. Now we'll set off. This is the other local I received for spares or repair. This again, problems with the bogies. As I explained, uh, this is a cocoa and to get the axles and the bogies to marry up together from an SD40 was very very difficult so this is the logo and the second wagon is one of the wagons I received for spares or repair this was quite simple as most of the wagons were it was a case of changing the couplings from the um, what they call now the KD type to the European couplers so this is just a I got a selection of not uh, Burlington Northern wagons, a hopper, the open wagon, the box van, and the uh, caboose. So I'll let that one run over the bridge so you can hear it. This again I modified this morning with the Lima brushes because it was it was a bit harsh it was it was a bit noisy so now i know that secret i'm quite prepared to share it because it does help you just need to open up the hole in the brush housing to three millimeters and pop the lima brush in so these wagons uh, were also in the job lot the conrail one had uh, broken bogies and uh, missing wheels the Texaco tanker, uh, missing ladders, uh, uh, yeah, the wheels were bad. And this one was very, very simple. This just needed uh, a change of couplings. So this is another one. We'll set that off again. There we go. I honestly thought that Mahanos had standardised bogies um, in most of their range, but it's not the case. Even the motor in the, the, C, the, C, um, the SD40 that I use for parts has a much bigger, better motor than the old type. So they did, they did modify them. There we go, running very, very nicely. I'm just pulling my track cleaner. Why not clean the track at the same time? So this is the Alcoa Sentry 628. Running very nicely indeed. Very happy. Okay, so we'll slow this one down again. There we go. Quite pleased how they turned out. Here we go, the last quick shot of the 628. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye now.